Okay, okay, okay. Check, 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 check. Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Is the fan too loud? There's like a fan over here. Is that a problem? Okay. Thank you, A Tuttle, for the sub with Prime. Thank you. Appreciate that. Just getting everything all set up. Yo, what's up, Zero Fire? King British guy, thank you for your sub. Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry, I'm being a little quiet. I'm um, getting everything kind of started off, tweeting about it. Um, let's set this over here, get that out of the way. No distractions. Fuck. Making noises and stuff. All right. King British Guy, thanks for the sub. Alma Corsaria. Wavidats. Thank you for your sub. Uh, so I have not even had a chance. We were racing up to 64X between Comic-Con and our event 64X, which was last weekend. If you never saw it or anything, the whole stream is up on our archive channel. Um, yeah, we put up all kinds of segments on our main channel too. Anyway, I never had a chance to, uh, yesterday, seriously, what was yesterday? Wednesday. Um, I, I had stuff to work on. Uh, I was through, through, um, yesterday, I think like Monday and Tuesday, I was working as much as usual, but Wednesday, yesterday I took a day off and I was dead. Like some of my other friends were like going to the fair. They were doing other stuff like, Hey, you want to go? I was like, I I'm in corpse mode still. And, um, cause the day after 64 X, I thought, you know, I could use some time outside, you know, it'll be nice. So I was at Disneyland and went from open to close. I thought I was going to be like too tired, but I barged it and I pushed myself too much. So when I came back to work Monday, it was just like, we raced up until this event. I think I, I think I got like 90 minutes of sleep, uh, leading up to 64 X like the night before. I think I slept like an hour and a half cause I wanted to get cosplayers done. Um, then did a whole, uh, then did 64 X then slept. And I think I woke up at like four 30 in the morning <laughs> did Disneyland all day. So I was very tired. So after doing full work days, Monday and Tuesday, this is a boring uh, schedule rundown, I'm sure. But yesterday was like my first day where I was like, I just need to like stay home and take care of shit. So by take care of shit, I mean, I was in bed until probably 6 p.m. And then uh, just cleaned up, you know, things like that. So anyway, I realized I have not been... I have not just sat in this office. What happens a lot of times is when we're in the thick of working on a really crazy project, I will never come in this office because we will be filming somewhere or we will be uh, editing, which the editing, uh, our main editing rig and all that stuff is not in here. Um, or we're streaming something and that's not in here. So there are times where it's like, oh, it's, it's been at least a month or two since I've been in my office. Or... I open the office door and I throw shit in here and close the door. Like, all right, that's gone. That happens to me all the time. My, my, uh, my office looks like, uh, if Indiana Jones's office, uh, was, uh, run by a 14 year old man child. No, I'm sorry. A 30 something year old man child would make more sense. Why would a, cause a 14 year old would be just a child. He'd be a child man if he acted like a man. Does that make sense? We don't need to go on about it. Anyway. Okay. Uh, King of Bunnies. Thank you for your sub. 
So, my point in bringing all of this up is, baby man, it'd be the baby man, exactly. My point in bringing all of this up is, I have not just sat here, combed through all this stuff, um, filtered what I got at Comic-Con, all that. You know, I haven't looked through it. So I just figure I'd do that. Take some Q&A. Very chill. I know, I feel like the last like 10 of my streams have been like, we're just going to chill tonight, you know? So maybe that's okay, but I also feel like could do something a little more interactive or a little more uh, ambitious, I guess. Um, Any figure update coming? Yeah. I think I'm going to record one immediately after this. So that's why I want to go through this. Isn't that the whole point of future pro? Yeah, I, I like to go through certain subjects. Sometimes. I, I like to have it be a different stream every time. I don't want it to always just be like, all right, I'm lazy tonight, you know. <laughs> Although when my time to stream comes around every Thursday, that is what I want to do. Because a lot of times we're working really hard on stuff. And it's like, can I can I just sit here and... <laughs> veg out for a second um your favorites are the food eating streams well cool I'll keep that in mind um not trying to humble brag more of a can't believe it moment this is from disc butt collected my whole life and the game I work on now has its own nerf gun and figures and plush I'm freaking out what game Yo, let's rank shit sometime in the future. I know. I want to go back to that. Those that, those are always the best ones. When's the next milkshake run to Beef and Bun? You know, we um we just went there because uh, we were... I think we were in the thick of, of planning 64X stuff. So we, um, we were like, let's have a garbage dinner. Who cares? We earned it. Let's have some bad food. And uh, Johnny suggested going to Beef and Bun. And so we went and it was like, oh, it's a new month. What are they going to have? But their shake of the month, they just repeated the peach shake. Like, I think we did that in a stream already. You know, Beef and Bun, I love that place. I'm going to recommend that. Anybody watching this, if you're in San Diego, go to Beef and Bun. They're getting my highest recommendation. But I got to say, they, they started this whole shake of the month thing and they haven't stuck with it. They either don't have one or they go, oh, we're just going to do the one from June again. You know, it's like... what? Guys, let's get creative here. But I also know it's a difficult time in the um, industry as well. So, you know, I have sympathy. And I think no matter what, you should go there and, and get a good meal. Uh, I'll tell you what isn't going to happen. Soup Plantation. I don't know if you guys have been following the news. But um, they the national news picked up oh they said soup plantation is coming back it's coming back uh they're they're rebuilding one in san diego they're gonna reopen it they're gonna reopen it and i'm like am i the only one that's reading the news story it's one guy saying he wants to this isn't the company i predicted this thank you lord trapula thank you and every news story it was supposed to open the fourth of july now what is the fourth of july that happened oh, august 11th <laughs> Did it open? No. Because, and he says on social media, the uh, the fire alarm, it wasn't ready. And now they're tearing the soup plantation sign down. Oh, we're, we're not allowed to call it that. We're, we, we couldn't um, get... Well, yeah, you're, you're one guy. You're not the corporation that owns that name. That'd be like me call. Yo, check it out. Our uh, Mega Six Wars next uh, movie, we're going to... You know what? We're going to call it... We're going to fucking call it... Uh, Toy Story 5. Because there's five... It's about five men who were treated like toys in their relationship. Yeah. Did you talk it over with Disney? No, but they'll probably be cool with it. Because they're not... They haven't made that. Oh, they said we can't use it. Oh, you don't say. Craig Grinnell, thank you for thank you for your sub. Anyway, I don't mean to talk ill on on that whole thing, but I I don't think you're going to see that happen. Um, I don't mean to be a naysayer, but none of that will ever transpire. Uh, it does seem like a Nathan Fielder bit. I agree with you. Um. Anyway. 
Did uh, Discbot or whatever your name? Did you say what the the game franchise was? Did I miss that? That, that your your game has a Nerf gun now or something? I didn't see her. It's on Roblox, but NDA otherwise. Oh, okay, okay. Well, well congratulations. Um, all right, real quick, I want to answer more stuff. Do you ever get so excited for something and then you just it? I can't even think of a comparable example. Do you ever get excited to eat something and it's not in there? You know what I mean? I'm going through everything and I'm like, oh, I brought toffee and peanut brittle from Disneyland here. Yeah. I. Well, there's still... Yeah, I ate it all. No one else did. But still, I should have been... I should have been cooler to my future self. I'm going to Dollywood in September, ready to fuck up some cinnamon bread. Oh, my, dude, fuck the rides. Cinnamon bread, my God. Oh, Dolly, my God, Dolly. That's the best work she ever did. The songs, whatever. That cinnamon bread... Dear Lord, I think they were making that there before she bought the park. So maybe that's not even really her deal. But man, it's a classic. Um, okay, I'm going to start going through some of this stuff here. Uh, I haven't shown this in the figure update yet. I will, but... Uh, this is one that I did I did unbox and I think it was on the I think it was on the set of the uh, podcast uh, this last week so I gotta I have to find a place to put this while we do all this shit um, oh I did open uh, this uh, they released the uh, Blue Rangers uh, weapon whoops how's that oh uh, the Blue Rangers Lance. This, it looked okay until I saw the LED effects. Which I thought, I mean, they, they don't look that great here right now, but they're... And then it actually does extend even further. You guys hear that? These effects are way cooler in the dark. Okay. <sighs> you ever make it out to live theater anymore? I haven't in a while. I can't remember the last live show that I went. I can't honestly remember. Okay, I'm going to pick up some stuff over here. Bear with me one second. Any 64X bits that didn't make the cut. We are going to be adding some to our Patreon. There's a couple segments that are PSAs or something that I don't think made it. I could be wrong on that. If you collect all the weapons that they form the blaster, they have not said... Uh, anything about that yet but everyone's kind of like hoping it looks like they might um i gotta find a place to put this the bad robot okay here's the main the main event oh did johnny hang up that hidora poster from mondo i don't think so um, I think he needed a frame or something. Uh, for those asking, someone was asking in the chat, yes, the coveted exclusive that I wanted, I did get at Comic-Con. The uh, Super Saiyan 2 Son Goku. Um, from, I believe it's from the Boo Saga. This is like the era where he's fighting like Yakon and then he fights Majin Vegeta and stuff like that. 
Anyway, it's a huge mess in here. I did like, uh, I did like, I always love good in-universe stuff. You know that, just even no matter how little of a thing it is. But I love that uh, the Lionsgate booth was handing out quick stop bags. How funny for the people in that town who had this little um, uh, grocery store. Of course, if, you, if you're not familiar, it's a clerk's thing. But uh, how funny that the people in that town had that stupid little convenience store and now it's a national thing like that. You know what I mean? thought that was kind of cool. Um, someone handed me this at San Diego Comic-Con, a, a laser disc. I totally forgot this was in there. Laser disc of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um, I have been told this is the OG laser disc. And there's even... I was specifically told there's stuff in here that kids aren't supposed to see. That there were things that had to be cut out later because they didn't know you could pause it. You know what I'm saying? I was told. So I don't know. Let's let's look through that. Again, any questions you have in the chat, I want to do Q&A too, so. Is that the Holy Grail in the background? Yeah, don't don't worry about that. Don't even don't even pay any attention to that. That's not even uh don't even that's not even a thing. Don't don't worry about that. Damn, laser discs are looking fucked up. Look at that. What the fuck is wrong with these things? Like you had to you had to put this whole thing on, flip it around and all that shit. No, I don't want to totally take it out. Do you ever go on vacations like long trips not related to work? Uh, I mean, I go on so many trips related to work that a lot of times I feel like I'm good. I don't need to go anywhere. I, I prefer to like, in those situations, just stay home. Uh, but every now and then, yeah, I mean, after... Um, after... What was it? Uh, what were we doing? After PAX East, I kind of cut out of that early, and uh, we had a thing on the East Coast a week later, so I thought, I'm just going to stay over here and uh, kind of do my own thing and, you know, travel around, and, and I did record some stuff, so I guess there was some business, but, um, you know, that was kind of just more for fun. Um, so sometimes, when it works out, but I don't always... Like I said, when I when I want a vacation, I, I a lot of times I like just staying home. Like I like traveling when it's like when I'm in like let's let's get at them mode, you know what I mean? But when I want to chill, I'm like I would rather chill at home. I got a I got a I got a I got a library of movies. I got a fucking uh, you know, a sea of things that I, I want to do, books I want to read. I kind of like just doing that. How do I get this back in the fucking thing? I might have blown it. I might have blown it. I might have blown it. Have I ever thought about collecting retro video games? Um, not really. I, I have some that I've just had for a million years that I want to keep because I think they're cool. Like, I have so many old Super Nintendo games and their boxes and all their, thing, you know, I kept all that stuff. Uh, my family kept all that stuff. So I have Chrono Trigger, the old Final Fantasies, all, all that stuff. So that that's like, I'm happy to own that, but I don't really go pursue it. I am more... Um, I am more into collecting movies and music and stuff because, and I'll tell you why with video games, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think it's cool to have the original thing, but you can, you can find a copy of the game one way or another, whether, whether someone, uh, made a cut, emulated it or, or they put out a better version on PS4 or they put, or they, you know, there's always a way. 
generally. With movies and music, it seems like the the late the physical copy of it is actually the best version of it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I could stream Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I could watch that laser disc, but I'd rather buy the 4K disc because, as a consumer, I can't get a better version of that. And music, um, you know you'll have a different experience. Either you get the digital lossless version they sell online, which I like to do, or you find the vinyl record because you find out they they went um, straight from analog tape to the vinyl. So it sounds different than any other format. And you can't really replicate that with a, with a file someone sends you, you know. So I, I like to collect those things more. With a game... You know, like a copy of Chrono Trigger. It's cool to have that. As a collector, you know, I collect figures and stuff too. It's cool in that way. But in terms of preservation, I, you know, I, I could play I could play a ROM or I could play it on DS. There isn't to me one one easy path there. You, you know, does that make sense? But yeah, I still will get a CD if it's um the best way to get something. You know, I think um, Perfume's album uh, just came out in Japan, and I don't think that's available lossless anywhere. But um, so the best quality version, as far as I know, is like buy the CD, rip the CD, and they they did they did a special CD that came with a bunch of stuff too, which I thought was cool. You know, book and stuff like that. So that was worth getting. Whereas Jack White's new album that just came out, they actually did release a lossless one through Bandcamp. Um, and you could download it there in, in, um, like dot, what is it? It's Apple lossless. It's like dot a, a C L or a P L or a L a lack. That's what it is. A lack. So I'll buy it that way. I didn't, I didn't really want the CD, but I bought the vinyl record cause that's its own experience. So if I, I if it's something I really like, I do want a physical copy of it, but I want to, I want to have kind of the best of both worlds there. Uh, Dispot says, I appreciate that all vinyls now come with digital lossless download keys. Do they? Because I feel like we were in a great phase of that. And I find that it's dwindling right now. Where now I'm buying records and it's like, oh, it didn't come with a code. Which pisses me off. I'm buying it because I want ownership of it. But a lot of these, I think with Third Man Records too. Like they were, for a while, were including the downloads and then they stopped because I think they were like, oh, well, people like streaming, you know, they want, they want to stream music. But I'm like, I'm buying this because I want ownership. So I have a copy of it. I don't know. That re- that kind of bums me out. Um, so that's why we, we our vinyls we sell at Mega64. By the way, you want to go to shop.mega64.com and pick up our soundtrack on double vinyl LP or the sound only vinyl, our comedy album. Uh, we always include a, a download code where you can get MP3s and like straight out of the computer wave files. Um, thought th- thoughts on prey being dumped on Hulu. Uh, so I just watched it yesterday. I thought it was okay. Um, I I don't really think I didn't really like go nuts over it. I thought it was a good sequel to predator which i don't think they've had many um but it really it didn't really like shock me i guess it didn't really like bring anything to it that was surprising but it was cool do i think it should have been in theaters yeah I'm, i mean I, I think this is a way better attempt and a way better uh, att- uh stab at it so to speak than than some of these other ones i still don't know that why they like that uh, the one with uh, the fucking pianist in it. I don't know why they did that. Uh, but I thought it was better. I think it was more impressive as a streaming movie than in theaters. So I, I think actually it would have been fun to watch that in theaters with friends. But I think maybe it would. I think maybe it was in the right place. It was like way more impressive being on. Because as a streaming movie, it was very impressive. Don't you think? Um, okay. Let me keep going through this. Where did my stuff go? 
Oh, I had a whole Bandai Namco bag here full of stuff. Okay, somebody uh, did this artwork for me. This is really cool. By Dun. Dun. They, I know they gave me their business card. Um, I think. I hope I don't have this mixed up. It was a it was a blur of a weekend, but I think this is the same guy that did. If you guys remember back to the um, funny factory days, um, there were intros for all our segments. Like, a friend of mentioned had that one that was like. I think he did that and the funny factory. If you remember that. Um, but he did this artwork of me as uh, Krillin with the machine gun, which I thought was great. Really cool. All right. Oh, speaking of vinyl, I literally, I, for, <laughs> I literally got this in the mail and then, like I said, set it down in the office and left. But this here, this is Jack White's album. I got this. Again, Comic-Con week is always a... So, uh, I didn't have, even have memory of uh, getting this. But yeah, I made sure that I got this from an indie record record store because um, they always have a different variant if you buy it indie. You know, you could buy it at Best Buy or, some, or Amazon, whatever, and you get a black vinyl, but this is... Um, it's in this, this artwork here, different kids going to school or something but anyway this was the uh this was the uh indie store variant it was like uh swir like blue jean swirl or something like that anyway i thought that was kind of cool lick it um i do think target got their own got their own uh, variant too but i didn't go there I'm still finding stuff from Anime Expo. Like I, I opened something and all this all this nerve shit came, flew out from the. Uh, did I already show this on here before? Nerve headquarters. Confidential. Confidential documents and things like that. Tenth anniversary of Ava with all the cute angels on it and stuff. Anyway, I keep forgetting to open this Elvira figure. I gotta do that. Thank you for the kind words on 64X, F NASA. Show the Darkstalkers one? Ooh, that's all the way over there. Maybe in a little bit. Have I played Xenoblade 3 at all? Yeah, I'm like... I don't know how many more... How many hours I'm in on it, but... I mean, not tons, maybe eight, but, um, yeah, already like it way more than two. Do you view Mega 64 in eras or just one continuous evolution, uh, evolution? Um, yeah, not really eras like this era, that era, like, like I might be able to to look at myself and like what I was wearing. Like that's, that's an error. Those are errors to me, <laughs> you know? Oh, you, you had to wear sweatbands on your wrists all the time. That's an era. I had to wear a track jacket all the time. That's an era, but, um, not really other than a superficial thing like that. It's all kind of the same long day to me. And I think it's more just about not looking at different eras or blaming this or that on well that was that era or that was that it's not about that it's more about the ever-changing mind in the current moment you know what i mean it's been one long moment and i want to not be the same 
as I was when it started. Does that make sense? Do we just have a fucking earthquake? I feel like everything shook for a second. That was weird. Got my Steam Deck era. Or, uh, era. <laughs> I read the wrong message. Got my Steam Deck yesterday. Are you still loving yours? Yes. I just preloaded. I've never preloaded a game uh, from Steam. <laughs> you know, I'm still new to Steam. Um, so I got a uh, Spider-Man. I can't wait to play the new Spider-Man. Has there ever been an earthquake scenario and all the figures fall down? The earthquakes we have here are pretty tepid. But there was one time I was setting up a bunch of super sentai figure arts i think on a shelf at home and we had one quick earthquake that was like boom it was just like a shove and they all like forward and fell down really just that shelf it wasn't it wasn't a whole bunch of stuff but i could hear um i think there i think like an another shelf that was just on the teetering brink of falling did fall but it wasn't figures <laughs> What's your dream fig, real or, or theoretical? Uh, my dream fig would be, uh, I really, really am hoping for, I want Cyclopsis, which was, I've been saying this for years, Cyclopsis was Goldar's Zord in, in the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, in Japan, it was a different thing, but it was like a Cyclops-looking mecha. It almost looks like a fucking Gundam. Like, it looks twisted. Um... But anyway, I really, uh, I really liked that design, and I can't believe there hasn't been a figure of it. Okay, Let's see what else is in here. Aha! Uh -huh. What is this? Oh, I did. Okay, so <laughs> I did. Uh, when I got, you know, so that Goku, someone helped me. Andy, if you're watching, shout out. Andy picked up that uh, Goku for me. But I was like, oh, they, they had a repainted Android 16 that looked kind of cool. Probably should have got that too. Oh, well. And then later in the weekend, they weren't even, like, you they all the rigmarole to get these figures. Oh, you got to get a ticket to go to this, to go to that, to pick up that. They just stopped. On Saturday, they were like, bro, whatever, just walk up. What do you want? Like, like. It's like they ran out of steam or something. Anyway, so I did get the uh, Android 18 repaint. Which looks really cool. I'll show it more on uh, my figure update. But you know what? Let's open it up. Might as well take a look at it now. Any other questions in the chat while I'm opening this? By all means... Someone in the chat earlier asked me for what best dating advice. Um, you don't want dating advice from me by any means at all. Um, asking me for data uh, for dating advice is like asking a dog for help on uh, defusing an atomic bomb. It's like asking uh, Shamu for help on your trigonometry homework. It's just not, not worth anyone's time. Okay. Damn. Yeah. See, do you see what I mean? They kind of like shaded this different. Like they, sh I, I don't know if you could tell with this camera, but they shaded him more. It It's kind of hard to see from that camera. I dropped all of his heads, of course. Um, let's see. 
Let's see. Um... trying to get all this dumbass plastic you know they always have like plastic in between the joints i don't know why protect it Protect from paint transfer. That makes sense. Did I get anything from Good Smile at Comic Con? I did. I don't know if it's here. Oh, it is here. Give me one second. I'll show you. Thoughts on the new Fooly Cooly shows? Didn't we already do this? Are you talking about the new ones that already came out? Or are you talking about the one they announced to come? A new one just came out? It did just come out? What? A few months ago? What the fuck? It did? Why did I never hear anything about this? Didn't they show one that was animated like the progressive insurance commercials or something? I did see Jack White on his tour. Yeah, the three the three D fully coolie is already out. I thought that was like next year or something. Is it out in Japan? Oh, well, maybe it is. You gonna watch Chainsaw Man in October? Yeah, I was debating, like, do I read that now or what? I had the first volume. I kind of got through a lot of that, but should I just watch it, you know? We're this close. You know, the one thing that I don't like about this figure arts uh, Android 16 is they gave him these breakaway arms so that he shoots, like, bullets out of that. Do you remember he does that in the show? He, like, gets his arms torn off or something? Keeps shooting guns or whatever, but they come off so easily. I'm like, no, nah, I'd rather him just have solid arms. <laughs> Am I going to watch Atura? I don't know what that is. Still need to watch Banana Fish. Okay, you're just you're you're just making shows up now. D 
Damn, this dude's looking cool, though. He shaded really well. Again, it doesn't really read on the camera, but it's really cool. put them back in the box just for now did I watch Lightyear no I was just saying the other day I feel like I keep seeing stuff for uh, that movie, like uh, really expensive collector stuff for that movie, um, meaning like like Super 7, that's a company I love to buy figures from, stuff like that, it did like a four or $500 replica of the cat, and like even when I was at Disneyland, there's like stores that have like all these like adult items, like, like, a, like a tech jacket that says Star Command, and you know, all this stuff. Tamashi Nations did a bunch of stuff, and I just feel like there's, like, no demand. <laughs> I, I don't know anyone that's, like, buying that. What movie came out this year that you would recommend everyone should watch? You know, um, I didn't... I felt like I was shrugging at, like, most movies I saw this year. I kept being... This is the year that I've been told more than any other year, like, oh, my God... This is incredible. Go see this. And I kind of just leave like, yeah, all right. Um, I would say <laughs> Crimes of the Future is one of my, my, my two favorite movies I've seen this year. Here's the thing. I saw Drive My Car, and that's probably my favorite movie I saw, but it was a 2021 movie. I just saw it in January. You know what I mean? So that doesn't really count. I don't think. I don't think it does. I don't know if it does. Um, my favorite movies I saw this year were Crimes of the Future and Top Gun Maverick. Crimes of the Future, though, I like totally understand. People are just like, eh. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick, I thought, just whipped ass. I, I, and that was one that I went in like, mm, yeah, we'll see. Uh, everything everywhere all at once I really valued that experience because it was I've never been roller coastered more by a movie like I, I've said this before but the humor just didn't really land for me I was kind of halfway through it like oh my god I can't hear this anymore like I, I got it I got it yeah like just I, I wasn't a fan of the the oh you know, LMAO random kind of humor, but it took it into such a great direction in the last chunk of it that it really redeemed it and made it like, I was like choked up, you know what I mean? So like, um, I really appreciate, even though it may sound like I was criticizing it, I actually do appreciate that there's a movie that can like fucking drag you through the gamut of experiences like that. You know what I mean? I did think Sonic 2 was much better than the first one. The first one was still... Um, I, I Shout out to our friend Tyson. He did so much good work in saving that first movie, but it still had the residue of like what it was going to be. And I thought 2 um, was, a, was a much uh, a bigger much bigger enhancement. Um, and uh, yeah. Thank you for the not okay. I just finally watched the final cut of not okay. Um, yeah, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yesterday, it was yesterday. God, again, it's all a blur. Um, I, we had seen a rough cut of it, and that was the last time I had seen it. But finally, yesterday, I watched the one that's on Hulu. And uh, it was great. It, it goes a long way to show you how far 
post production goes because um, we the rough cut was fine, but they definitely hadn't put the last pass on it of whether it's color or just image pro- some kind of image processing, and it looked so much better in the final one. That's interesting, uh, Andy. The the Doug Pound pilot that the Daniels made. I remember Doug Pound's pilot for Adult Swim. I did not realize Dan- the Daniels dudes directed that. It makes perfect sense. I could see it in my head. I can't believe that. I've totally forgot. Did I see? Nope, I did. Um, yeah, I have. I, again, just it was okay. Um, I really appreciate it existing, and I I loved many of its ingredients. I loved many of its ingredients. On the symbolism game, ten out of ten. But I don't know if that enhanced the main story. Do you know what I mean? Like the 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 main story was still just kind of like, all right, we got to get a picture of this thing. I, mean, I don't want to give anything away for if you haven't seen it. But I'm just kind of like, yeah, all right. It it was okay. Very entertaining summer movie. Yeah, the, the, again, don't want to spoil it for anybody who didn't see it, but the chimp scene, it was the highlight of the movie. And I, and I wonder if maybe, and I wonder if maybe that it, sometimes, look, sometimes you have a scene in a movie that inspires your imagination so much, it actually hurts the rest of the movie. Does that make sense? Where it's kind of like the rest of it doesn't hold up to where your mind was going in that one part. I have not seen Primal. I'm going to keep going through this bag. Oh, I did get... Um, Gohan from the new movie. So I'll have to do that in the figure update as well. Now we got a bag within a bag. Um... The Halloween movies, no interest. Okay. This was from the Tamagotchi booth. They had all kinds of stuff. I haven't even gone through this. They had, uh, I have another one too. They had more than one exclusive like lanyard. So I'm going to have to wear that. Maybe I'll wear that one in packs. We'll see. Um, On my other lanyard, I have the Toy Story Tamagotchi, but it's not here. Or it might be in my backpack. I'm not sure. But they did two Comic-Con exclusives. I just grabbed these. I didn't even really look at them. Um, but these are the uh, these were event exclusives. And they're full-size, old-school, old-school Gen 1 Tamagotchis, which is kind of cool. And then what is this? And then... Common Rider 50th anniversary Tamagotchi too. So I have to open all that up too. I'll have I'll, I'll save that one for packs. I always at packs like to have a or, or uh, at any convention, I like to have a virtual pet of some sort attached. I'm not showing you everything that I do that I got for figure update, but you know just a decent amount of things. Have you seen the Ava Tamagotchi? Yeah, I think there's one around here. There's one around here somewhere. I have a few. (laughs) 
Wanted to pick up a Tamagotchi, but the booth always looks slammed. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much I went... But there was one morning, I want to say maybe it was the first morning, that, like, people had trouble getting in or something. So all the booths opened, but, like, no one was rushing them. Favorite Toy Story film? Um, I... I was just talking to someone about this the other day. I I fought watching the th second one for a long time because I was just like, why? You, it was perfect. The first one's perfect. Why do you? Then I eventually saw two and was like, what the fuck? I saw it like five years later, maybe. I think. And then I was like, what the fuck? This is great. What the hell happened here? Um, it was really good. I think one is still the classic. But, uh, but love too. Then three came out. I saw it opening night in 3d. I remember having big ass 3d glasses on. And I will say with three, the first half I'm going, mm, really, we're doing this again. The toys are in trouble. We're doing that, but it delivers so well in the second half that it balances the whole thing out. So. I love it, but I, I think that I think one is kind of the classic. I think that's the iconic one. Four, fuck that. I no I just no desire. Well, you have this great pre oh cool. Oh, Forky or whatever his name was. Damn. Okay, this is something new we could add to. I'm, I'm kind of the whole time. I'm like, didn't you wrap this up perfectly? Oh, we're gonna add Forky to it, and it's like, oh, you're making making us reflect on what it is to even be a toy, and what constitutes being a toy, and the nature of our existence. Nah, never mind. Bo, here's Bo Peep, dude. Look what she's doing. She's on her own. She's doing crazy shit. I'm like, yeah. I didn't think they did anything to like justify her character being like, wow, love her. Like it was just kind of, I don't know, generic. I didn't really think, um, it had a good ending. I thought maybe, but it didn't really earn that ending. I, I don't know. And then, the uh, um, the humor to me was not, that's, this is just me, an adult man who saw Toy Story 4 talking about it, but like the key and peel parts felt like family guy bullshit. I just didn't enjoy it. phone's blowing up what's going on i am curious genuinely if we had an earthquake a minute ago oh an anonymous gifter gave sean a sub oh Okay, there was a small earthquake near Yucca Valley. Do you guys see what I mean? I I made a tweet last night that sometimes when you search when I search for when I look up what's trending, it just shows me disgusting videos. Oh, well, I'm not going to show you. It's There's a disgusting video. I don't know why I thought I could show that to the camera. But yeah, there was one in California. Not a huge one. It's definitely not based on my search history. <laughs> nice try. When you got hit with the anime fig during 64X, were you shook 
on on real life? Is that what you're asking? Or just played along? I was I was shook. I freaked out because it wigged me out. I was like, <gasps> I was freaked out because I thought it pierced my eye. Um, because it went, it hit my goggles, and it felt like it went deep in, there, like, or at least pushed the goggles deep in there. It felt like like a thumb in your eye. And then I just saw red, and I thought, um, I just thought, um, well, that's my blood. I, I pierced my eye. So that really freaked me out. And then um, it was just paint from the figure. Red, I, I have the goggles somewhere. I'll grab them at some point, but red streak. And the goggles, yeah, they were a last-minute thing I put on. Th those goggles have been in my car since I did the Kingdom Hearts video, um, however many years ago. How many years ago was that? At least a few, right? It's been in, yeah, in my car. There's an upper compartment, and they were just in there. It's like, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll wear those. What if I hadn't? But anyway, um, yeah, so it, it, it wigged me out, and so I was like, I got like, um, it was like I was high. Do you know what I mean? It was like I was like, uh, not just adrenaline but like uh emotion like it was just something went in my eye and i was and i thought i had lost my eye for a minute but it was fine i everyone was like you're good everything's okay but i hadn't i couldn't come down do you know what i mean where <gasps> you do you know what i mean I, it was like i couldn't come down yeah like mild shock it was very weird and i actually took a minute to myself and i was like I think I will feel better if I cry. I wasn't sad. I wasn't like, I'm so upset. Um, it was like taking a shit. Like, it was like I had all this emotion. So I walked behind the building. I left the set and walked behind the building and just... <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. I'm good. And then we just went on and shot. We, then, then I think I did my security guard PSA and stuff like that. But it was like, it wasn't even like I had sad things to process or things I was sad about. It was seriously just emotional fucking, I was emotionally backed up. I was just, mm, and getting that out, it was like taking a shit. It really was like, ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I've never, I've never had it been like that. Who came up with the idea for that panel? Um, Derek suggested wrestlers, wrestling and stuff like that. Like that they, he brought up getting that venue, which like having a big empty venue. Um, and um, we thought of a few things that'd be fun to do in a big empty venue. We had other things planned, but um for to use that venue for but um a lot of people got sick or and uh, and some of which was covid um before uh we shot that so uh didn't get to um but we did our best you know whatever but one of the ideas was yeah have wrestlers there and it's like well what's happening oh they're trying to do some panel and i think he suggested or someone did suggested a. Uh, having it be the, the Catholic gaming, you know, um, insider panel or something like that. It was like, you can bring them back and then they get messed with, with wrestlers. But then I think it was my suggestion where it was like, well, we kind of did the Catholic gaming thing recently. I feel like we've done that a few times, but something even more kind of, t t not to sound whatever, but even more kind of timid and pathetic would be funny. And then, uh, I brought up, um, that um, I always like to lift things from real experiences. You know, when we go to cons, there's already enough weird stuff that happens. You can just lift from that. And uh, we went to a con once where we walked in the room to a panel and it was just a guy with a little pinhole camera looking at the details on anime figures. Yo. Hi. Yo. Oh, what's up? What's oh, up? Sorry. I was talking about the uh, anime, the panel like the inspiration behind that mm. we went to a convention where a guy was holding anime figures and literally just with a pinhole camera looking like oh, yeah. at their butt <laughs> yeah like up their skirt things like that to silence i mean it's no just we're walking in just like 
It was something. Okay. It was something to see. All right. And they were talking about, yeah, yeah, you can uh, see some of the details here. So I guess if we wanted to make it more accurate, we could have just like mumbled our way through it. But I thought you nailed it. But we, I think we, we did it the right way. I think it was perfect. Are we showing yeah. off figs? Because I got something to show off. Oh, before. do you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you got? This is my office. Don't knock one thing over. So sorry. No, it was someone who was just showing like custom figs or something like that. That's what he was doing. We do have oh, the no. Manny Machado bobblehead, and yes, he does have gum because he blows gum. Oh, you he, got the gum variant. Got the gum variant. So it it does bobble. We have some tattoos. See the uh, sky's the limit. So see uh, Comic Con, they had the. Uh, um, the ch uh, tobacco variant that, where it wasn't gum. He's actually just got, he's, uh, he chew, he's got never, chew. He would never do that. Do they still do that? Do baseball players still do A lot do, do. Really? Yeah, but uh, you shouldn't. Haven't, That's haven't, how Tony Gwynn died. Yeah, I was going to say, haven't we seen numerous cla like iconic baseball players pass you know, away? You, you, you know, you start smoking knowing that it's killed a billion people too. So, same thing. All right. Anyways, I just want to show that off. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yep. Don't knock anything over. I, I want, oh my God, just something touched my shoe. You guys should even see there's just towers of figures no it's, matter where you step. It's, it's something. That's why I needed to go through all this. Well, anyway, thank you for showing that. Thank you. Uh, oh, Sean, I was going to tell you. Yeah. Uh, we've been talking about a lot of people. Johnny got a lot of people, including myself, on this Japanese band, Adarashi Gako. Okay. I didn't really know a ton about him. I'd seen him before, but then Johnny got me hooked on him, mm. and which it sucks because I don't need another thing that I'm into like yeah, that. Sucks. But that does suck. I'm going to their show now. I think Ooh. next week. Wow. But anyway, uh, so thankfully I got him in ahead of time. I could see him, whatever. But they played at San Diego Comic Con. I, it was during our panel. Shit. But anyway, they were in San Diego and they posted a video yesterday of all the shit they did while they were in San Diego. Yeah. And I mean, this is all like these these girls are all in like. Japanese school outfits yeah, and them, whatever. Yeah. That's like their gimmick. Yeah. And uh, they're walking around Comic-Con, whatever. And then they got to go to uh, the Padres office. Oh, they did? And yeah, they all got jerseys yeah, with the see, thing. The yeah. They uh, all got jerseys. And the comments on it are like, oh, awesome that uh, Atarashi Gako got to uh, come to the US, but a shame that the one MLB team they got to spend time with was the Padres. <laughs> <laughs> like All the comments are like, what a shame. No, oh we're my good God. now. It's all good. Oh, okay. See, they don't even, people don't even comment. They don't even know the shit. Like, yeah. do you know how good we are? Ugh, dumb. Well, yeah. Well, so uh, they got the jerseys and they got... They don't, they don't yeah. throw those away. They don't care about the jerseys. Yeah. They should have made me one. They, <sighs> they've been... They've been... Uh, they're still in LA. That's where they're going to play next week. Yeah. And, um... And so they're like doing stuff in the United States and posting stuff from it. Yeah. And they're all walking around. They all have like the brown and yellow Padres Hell hat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right, respect to them. Respect yeah. To yeah. Them. Yeah. All right. They they're okay by me. I'll look, I'll listen to them now. <laughs> now I'll check them. Anyways, hello. Oh man. Hey, uh, Sean. Sorry, you don't have to come back in here. Did you feel a little earthquake or no? No. I thought I felt a little something. And then I looked, and it looks like there was a small thing, but I don't know if it was close at all. I've been driving around, though, so I don't think you'd feel it if you are driving. Yeah, where is, um, fuck, they just said, no, it's not showing up. Tonga Islands, don't think that's where we are. I don't think so. Um, I didn't feel that. Last I checked, it was like San Bernardino. That's not too far. Yeah, there, it was around kind of that area, there was one, and I... Like, I felt... It wasn't anything. It was just a little, like... Hey, the window's just kind of... Mm. Yeah. Just a, a hair. And, yeah, it looks like there was... I don't think I was imagining that. Ah, uh, uh, you felt it. Anyway. Shrewboo, thanks for your sub. Yeah, they went to channel 933. Yeah, I saw that too. 
What's the worst food combo you have made? Um, most food combos I think are going to be bad and they end up being good because I love everything <laughs> when it comes to food. Um, mm. Bad food combo. I can't really think of one. What Steam Deck games am I playing? I'm not playing any now. I was playing Stray, but I moved on to Z. I'm playing Xenoblade now. But now when Spider-Man comes out, when is that, tomorrow? I think I'm going to hop over to that for a little bit, too. Yeah, worst combo, probably, you're, you're right about Christmas cast. Probably pickles with birthday cake. That was really bad. Crazy that it's been almost 10 years since the 10th anniversary. I still remember watching the touch video on the shitter. Oh, I'm glad you were touched. Gotta do a, uh, yeah, uh, the last few, like, panel intros and, like, presentation intros that we've done, Johnny has edited. Um, but I'm gonna, um, and they, they were so good. This one that he did for our panel at 64X was so fucking good so good um but anyway uh but yeah i think for the 20th anniversary i'm gonna edit a special thing um myself to uh show at all of our upcoming panels and shows and anything else johnny's editing has been a welcome addition to the mega 64 vibe a hundred percent. Johnny is the best thing that could happen to us. So, 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 um, just, we're all very happy he's here. <laughs> Can you tweet, not going to watch Black Adam? Sure. Give me one second. There you go. Not going to see Black Adam. Okay. Have I seen the Kevin Smith collectible figure? The Japanese one? Yeah, I was supposed to have it by now. I ordered it. <laughs> yeah, I love Drive My Car. That's been my favorite movie I've seen in a while. They just introduced White Adam in the comics? Is that real? Because I was going to make a video, you know. You know what it was going to be. Um, how pissed off do people get about those not going to see blank tweets? Really pissed off. Um, that's that's why I do them. Well, not because they're people. I, I like to hold a mirror up to like. I mean, this goes back to even early Mega sixty four. Is like the most minimal thing that shouldn't affect anybody affects people for no reason. 
you know, like you're out in public saying hi to someone and then they like threaten to hit you. It's like, I, I'm, I was just saying hi. You know what I mean? Things that are like, why does that bug you? Why? So now I tweet, you know, not going to see, um, not, uh, not going to watch Miss Marvel. There's nothing charged about that statement. I'm just not going to watch it. I'm not going to, I'm not saying, I'm not taking a stand. I'm not, um, giving any kind of political message. No, it's not motivated by anything. I'm just, I can either, uh, eat ice cream or do my taxes or watch Miss Marvel. No, I'm not going to do it. So I just tweet that, but just that existing puts people in a spiral and it's really crazy. So I'm just kind of holding up a mirror. Yeah, that's, 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 that's how I'll explain it. Um, Did Rocco just admit to not doing his taxes? Shit, man, I wish. We got we got put over the fucking fire on the on that shit this last year. I think everybody did though. Okay, what other stuff we got here? Well, some of the uh, some of these other things I probably should show in a, in a figure update. Oh, I'll show this won't this won't be in a figure update. We have turned the page on the perfume calendar. This was July. The official perfume calendar, Achan, a bunch of goofy accessories, and now we got. Let's see here. Now we are in August. It's, uh, we've got Kashika with corn. So there you go. August is a corn month in the perfume universe, in the perfume universe. Oh, I looked ahead and I, I spoiled it. I spoiled myself. Um, by the way, guys, if you like our streams, if you like watching us stream, if you like 64 X, um, by all means show your support, go to shop.mega64.com. We, uh, and pick up some stuff. We still have, um, the merch drop from 64 X that's still up and available right now. I think until Friday night, I think. Um, so go pick up whatever, you know, there, there might be some stuff that sticks around if we still have it in stock, but, um, anything that's up for pre-order or whatever that, that it'll all come down. But anyway, uh, pick up something. We have a million exciting things in there. So go check it out. Version four Blu-ray is back in stock. All that stuff. Spice Lord for 2069. Oh, what is that number? Um, anyway, thanks for your sub. Uh, is the version 4.1 making of documentary awesome? Um, I, I, I like it. What do you guys think? Yeah, Garrett confusing succession with severance was pretty good. Honestly, surprised you guys didn't do a friend to mention on the TMNT game. We still, we don't be surprised. You may see one coming up. How's the book coming along? Well, uh, you know, again, we had it being edited by someone, but they kind of like, they had, you know, things happening and then it took a while. So now it's like, oh, we have to add more, I think. Um, so it's just kind of back and forth and it just keeps kind of getting put in a difficult place but you know it'll it'll happen 
Were the crowd shots from the Goonies grandkids originally from the tour? No, they were from uh, San Diego Comic-Con. We told San Diego Comic-Con when we started our, our panel, hey guys, today at our panel, we're going to turn the cameras around on you. And uh, so you'll be in the <laughs> you'll be in the lens for an upcoming thing. So if you don't, you know, if you're not cool with that, maybe uh, maybe sit elsewhere. But uh, we told them that's what we were gonna do. Oh, Vostok, uh, your sister got you the version for Blu-ray at Comic Con. Yeah, we did all sign some of them there. Well, thank you. Were the Deadpool's at the end fans that you want to be in a video? Yeah, uh, some of them, a bunch of them were our friends and family, and then some of them were just like, yeah, people on Twitter who I, I just asked, like, hey, you want to come down? Goonies grandkids vinyl. That, that's a good idea, actually. Can you explain the last part of version 4.1 where Dr. Puck gets back into the... Oh, am I, am, I, am I spoiling this for anybody? Yeah, I was going to go on about it, but I better not because some people... If everyone had seen it, I could totally explain it. But that's not the case, so I'll stay silent. Can you explain when Goku fights Thanos in version 4.1, please? Hmm. <laughs> Text all of you individually about Pac. Okay. Were all those anime figures at the exhibition wrestling show yours? Um, one of them was from uh, Jump Force, a game that we got. So that was one that we had in possession, but the rest were just the cheapest ones I could find on like Amazon. Did the wrestler through the fig apologize? Yeah, uh, no, she meant to hit the other wrestler. Uh, they were messing with each other. They were going hard. Uh, and uh, there was just a mishap. But oh, yeah, totally. They were totally cool. Uh, my favorite 64X bit was, I think, Goonies Grandkids. I love shit like that. I mean, you know, if you've seen Unboxing Ring, I love shit like that, where it's just like something avant-garde, you know, or or, or you're just hearing the audio and, and it's going on a long time, like, oh my God, I thought this would have wrapped up by now. You know, I love that kind of shit. So Goonies Grandkids was mine, followed by probably the, the wrestling thing, I think. Also, too, I, I was going into the show thinking, like, oh, I always like playing fake characters, like, live. And, I, you know, and there, we definitely had some that day, but I was like, do we do enough? I, you know, I, I want to I do even more. And then last minute, it wasn't even really planned too much. Um, when we went did Goonies Grandkids, um, we just, uh, we decided, oh, me and Derek should be the producers of the movie. And let's let's introduce it on stage so people know what they're looking at. And, um, that, um, that was really fun. That wasn't even really planned too much. We just threw on some gear and then sat at the table and did that. And that, that was, th that whole Goonies grandkid segment is my favorite.
Um, how much do you rehearse certain bits before streaming live? For example, the AI panel. Um, no rehearsal. We just kind of like talk through it the day before. We were just like, hey, tomorrow the AI panel, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to have this device and then I'm going to have like three different knobs that control how angry or sad maybe you are. And then maybe one of them you go crazy. I was like, okay, yeah. And so I just think like, I'm going to spend the first half kind of wasting everyone's time saying, I'm not going to turn it on yet. I'm not going to turn it on yet before I turn it on. And then once we get to you, we'll do some normal stuff and then it just goes crazy. You know, like we kind of just talk through that and it's like, cool, sounds good. All right. And then that's it. We didn't really go through it. Just, just improvised. I felt like I could have done better in the AI one. I was kind of like, mm. but I was happy with all the other ones. Um, I did watch more of Jojo Part 4, but I just haven't gotten through all of it. Bye. Bye. Let's see you. I didn't know that so many people were here. Yeah, we got it. I thought it was just Sawyer. And Lennon and Sawyer. No. Nope. Too, that's too many people. So many people. That's ridiculous. Oh, the fire marshal. Uh, <laughs> I am. Get out. Where was that PS4 lounge? Uh, that was in the same... <laughs> that was just a side room in that venue. So impressed with what you guys have made out of the pandemic. The virtual cons are so unique and impressive. I can't wait for big companies to steal this form of theater in a year time. <laughs> well, thank you. And... You know, and not only that, but like that really helped us too because, um, you know, brought us obviously a lot of viewers. People like to buy the merch, you know, and that's really that helped us out. This was, you know, when like like pandemic started, there was nowhere to go, so that that really helped us out. It was just like we should have done this sooner. It's a mutually beneficial thing, you know. Um, you know, everybody was stuck at home, wanted a lot of stuff to watch well here's a whole day's worth um and then we make an event out of it and then we you know it was great are you guys gonna do a new hat soon been a while um we did do a couple new dad hats at uh six on 64 day but um yeah we haven't done a new snapback in a little while we were having a lot of trouble with um, Patreon has been supposed to be getting uh, this variant on our Japanese snapback and um, no manufacturer had that hat. It's been like forever and we just could not get a manufacturer to make that hat. But I think we finally found a way. Um, does the Haunted Mansion Christmas overlay bother you? It's not the existence that bothers me it's that it's like that for five plus months that pisses me off you guys adapted to the pandemic better than anyone else i think it felt like there was pretty much no slowdown you guys rolled right into it well thank you thank you still showing up at at, at, at uh you know some of the normal in-person events too though is anybody here going to pax anybody in the chat attending is it worth it to check out the overlay if i've seen the original um i think the haunted mansion the the nightmare before christmas overlay i think it's cute one time it's just after that it's like Okay. Oh man, you got your Steam Deck. You love it. Well, that's good. Good to hear, because I love mine. Damn it. 
Uh, what I think of the Fortnite DBZ collab? I love that somebody posted the clip of, of give me all your money and someone shooting Vegeta from our first DBZ video we did. That was cracking me up, saying like, oh, that, this is going to be Fortnite next week. I thought that was funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought I'd have more, more energy on the stream, but I, I, I'm just still a little bit zapped. I'm still in recovery mode. Um, yeah, Johnny's playing Eternal Darkness the other night. That was cool. Do I have my D23 cosplay figured out? Yes. I don't know if it's going to look good. I'm. Uh, that's up for debate, but yeah. Give this man a ZOA. I think we ordered... There's a new ZOA variant that came out on Amazon in the last couple days. Like it was, It's like Cherry Limeade or something like that. I think that's on the way. So I will soon I will soon be able to sit my Zoe and then fucking go. Yes, it has organic Camu Camu. None of this synthetic Camu Camu bullshit. Do I drink coffee? I do if I need it. I don't have a routine with it, just if I need it. But I haven't had any in <laughs> a while. This week, I think I've never had any. Today, I could have used some. Um, I'm going to Disneyland on Saturday. You need anything? No, I think I got everything. Um, Love the Neuro Acrylic Stand. Hope you do more of them with Kinikos Art. I would love that, too. I think I'm going to call it here for now. I'm sorry to kind of cut things short, but, uh, you know, I'm looking through some stuff. I'm going to do a figure update in a little bit, and I think that'll be good. And I think, um, I think they're going to call it right now so I can get to work on that. There's also a new creepy old crypt going up in like just a minute. So if you want to watch that, that's on YouTube. Uh, but I just wanted to check in, do a little Q and a, I'll play, I'll play a game or something next time. Something a little more interesting. Maybe I always like to change it up. Um. Oh, you know what? Let's end this. Let's end this on a cool note. Let's end this on something crazy. I have right here. Thanks to our friends at Limited Run Games. I was given this. They had these in stock at their physical store. I have a brand new. You guys like break it? What does they call them? Breaking? Card breaking? A brand new, the one of the most coveted packs of cards money can buy. I'm going to break open a pack and see what we get. How's that sound? You want to end on that? Is that, what, is that what they do? It is Skybox Super Mario Brothers the movie trading cards. Sealed. What do you think? Should we open it? What do you think? What do you what do you think we're gonna get? Should we open it? Keep it keep it keep it sealed. What do you guys think? Keep it sealed. Ryan is saying keep it sealed. Keep it sealed. Again, I love. I love that limited run in their physical store could have sold these for a, a pretty penny, but they're just a few bucks. Like I'm looking at the price tag right here is a few bucks because they didn't, they didn't hype anything up, you know? What do you think? Should I do it? Let's do it. Got to do it. Okay. Let's place our bets. Did we get Koopa? If we if there is a Koopa card in this pack. How about this? If there is a card for Daisy, she was in the movie Princess Daisy. Um I will end on a song. I'll do something or, or you guys tell me something entertaining I can do. If there is a Koopa card, you all you all have to go to shop.mega64.com and buy a shirt. Maybe it's one of the new shirts. 
you know, we got that uh, that swordsman shirt. We got that organ shirt. We got all kinds of stuff. Does that sound good? But if it's Daisy, I'll do like a... What should I do? Like a song? What if there's both? Then it's a... Then it's a... We walk away. And if I don't see... How many viewers we have? It says we have just under a couple hundred. If I don't see a couple hundred short orders short orders tonight, I'll never stream again because I'll know you, you betrayed me. I trusted you. Fortnite floss dance. Okay. All right. Shall we do it? Let's open it up. Got to hit it. Or else it doesn't count. Dude, I felt it, it felt like the air coming. I felt like a ghost escaped from it. Doesn't really have a smell. Here we go. Cards are out. Slimy scoundrels. This is awesome. First card out the gate. Oh man. Oh dude, we hit the jackpot. Let me tell you. This is hilarious. Out the gate. Slimy scoundrels. Those are the Scapelli brothers. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Doug and Mike. Yeah, Doug and Mike Scapelli. This is a deleted scene. This isn't even in the movie. Remember he walks up? Yeah, he walks up and he goes, Scapelli, they beat us to it again. Another lost job. So that's a delete. That's not even in the movie. Great card. Great card. Batting a thousand, boys. Then we got Daniela, Mario's girlfriend, Daniela. They went, man, they went obscure. We haven't even got any of the main characters. Oh, yo, I was in like, mm, I don't know what grade, third grade maybe when this came out. I don't remember. But even then I thought, I thought she was a babe. Am I crazy? Am I, am I, am I not, am I loony bin here or what? But I was like, good for Mario. All right. These are so good. These are so good. Okay. I hate to tell you guys this. Koopa Square. Which, again, let me just point out. The art design in this movie was legit great. Like, like the Blade Runner dude designed all this. There it is, guys. Who's that? Vote for Koopa. I think Koopa is here. Then we got another one of Mario's girlfriends. We got Bertha. Ah! They, they went deep cut on these things. I thought it was just going to be like the main group of characters, but man, they thought this movie was going to be a hit. They really did. My favorite part of the movie is when uh, Mario puts his face in her cleavage. Does anyone remember this? It's like, what? Miyamoto was on the set for this? Anyway. See what's next. Guys. Koopa. Well, this is when he's pretending to be. Uh, I'm your lawyer, uh, Larry Lazard of Lazard Lazard, uh, Condodactyl and Coin. Um, there he is. Uh oh. Okay, we got Yoshi. Now, this doesn't count. Just because she's on it, it, look, it doesn't say Daisy. It says Yoshi. She is not the focus of that photo, for the record, okay? No, it doesn't really count. So, that's Yoshi. It says Yoshi. Who doesn't love Yoshi? Remember that? A mushy landing. Wah, wah. They fell in trash and shit. And yeah, 
Invasion. Look, Goomba Invasion. There's like five of these guys. That's an invasion. Well, you guys, there we did it. We uh, went through the pack. That was a pretty solid pack. I think we... I think we both walk away. No hollows. I did not get any hollows. That's it. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Some days you win, some days you lose, and some days you just walk away. <laughs>